Uncle Harry, otherwise known as The Strange Case of Uncle Harry, is one of the weirdest film noirs. It doesn't have guns. It doesn't have a lot of violence, any violence. But it's so strange and much stranger than a lot of film noir. Uncle Harry is a beloved figure in his small town where he lives with his two sisters. Older sister Hester is widowed. Younger sister Letty is very protective of her brother. I mean, really protective, like a mother or a wife. Really protective. Get it? Letty seems smart and fit enough to have a more of a life of her own, but she hangs around the house pretending to be sick, never dating, happy to just dote on her big brother. Get it? The Quincy family used to be rich, but they lost it all in the Depression. The three live in the family house on Harry's income as a fabric designer in the local mill. Hester is happy feeling sorry for herself, Letty being a couch potato, who just acts as the perfect wife for her brother Harry. But Harry looks like he wishes he could die, or someone else would die, to free him from his boring life. He's the town's uncle. He has no nieces or nephews of his own, but everyone treats him like this harmless, lovable guy, not someone to take seriously. He designs drapes, looks through his telescope, spends his nights alone. Wee! Who needs a wife and kids? He's got the guys at the pub who get trashed and sing around the piano. Wee! The casting in Uncle Harry is a little out there. And it works. Joan Harrison produced and Robert C. Odmack directed, reteamed after Phantom Lady, and Ella Rains joins them. She plays Deborah, a new designer from New York who comes to work at the mill. Too big for this hick town. Sophisticated and wondering why a talented guy like Harry spends his time hanging out watching the grass grow. And probably because Sanders plays Harry as a real tight ass. Deborah gets interested in Harry. The relationship grows and then alarms Harry's sisters for different reasons. Whiny old Hester doesn't want to move out. Letty dislikes Deborah from the start, like she's competition for Harry's attention. Letty keeps coming up with reasons to not take any of the many houses in town that she and her sister could take so Harry and his new wife could live in the ancestral home. Then another man proposes to Deborah, but this oddball romance dissolves into something a lot darker. The odd casting keeps it interesting. Sanders especially doesn't usually play such a normalish character who turns to the dark side. Harry is afraid. He's afraid of himself. He's afraid of what he's capable of doing. I don't want to talk too much about the ending, but the ending was changed by the studio. If you can watch the movie and ignore the last couple of minutes, you'll find this to be a dark, strange movie, unlike any film noir you've ever seen. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.